Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube. I am so excited to be home and in the groove and back on YouTube and all that good stuff. I've been traveling a bunch this summer, which was the reason for the lack of YouTube videos. I am back and going to be aiming for weekly videos again. It's really nice to be back home now because I can finally start to get organized and unpack and kind of move into my new place, which has been great. And I'm so happy here, I love it so much. Just wanna kind of bring you guys along with me and in my organizing process because I have so much to do and I just wanna make it feel like home. I wanna make it feel really clean. There's obviously a lot of decluttering that still needs to happen that will probably be in a later video at some point. But for the start of this video, we are going to declutter my whole vanity. I just thought I would film it. It will make me do it. And I also think that you guys really like to see stuff like this. So that's gonna be really great. And then there's just gonna be a lot of cooking, a lot of home stuff, and I'm really excited. I also cut my hair a little bit shorter. Well, not a little, it's definitely a lot shorter. I kind of even wanna cut more, like off the fronts a little. I don't know, I never thought I would have this short of hair. It's way shorter in the back, and then it kind of like goes into like an A-line. I kind of love having short hair though, it's so much easier to manage. I got a bunch of cute wallpaper that I'm gonna have installed in a couple weeks whenever it comes in this room. I think it's gonna give it a lot of life and just make it feel like really pretty and nice. Let's go organize my vanity and get this vlog going. I hope you guys enjoy, and that's all. This is a situation. So, I already have some organizers, but I don't really know if these are gonna fit. And this is also like, not how it should be organized. You know? Makeup removers in here. remover got these got these got this and I'm also thinking that I'm gonna be really nice to myself and if I decide I want to give up I don't need to do all of this in one day this can be a work in progress even though that may sound funny to you and a little ridiculous I get really hard on myself if I don't complete things <laughs> once I start them but I have so much makeup and honestly now I'm just making excuses I could do this in one day probably but will I? That's the question. Cool cotton pads in this one. I think I'm gonna get about one container of these in there. So far, this is what we're working with. I'm an organizing pro. I think the next drawer, I'll do clips, headbands, all that, all that jazz. Oh, I love this thing. I'm gonna wear it. I got some bandanas. Like little Missoni headscarves and headbands. That's not gonna really go on my beauty space, I don't think. This is getting kind of hard. Let me show you, sorry. I don't know if you saw any of that. This is the first drawer. And then we have this. It's the second drawer, which honestly looks pretty good. So this is what we're working with there. And then I think in this top drawer right there, I'm going to use this thing and do like a lot of what's already in here, but a little bit different. So like not eyelashes, obviously. This is what the desk looks like at the moment. I also have here in my top drawer, a PR drawer. I am pretty much finished with all of that. I'm very proud of myself. I put my brushes in these like, triple containers. I got them off Amazon. I'll put a little link for them below. And then I moved my beauty blenders into this jar. So, first drawer. This is like skincare prep, lip stuff, sheet masks, tools. So like scissors, gua sha, whatever. And then like other tools, like razors, uh, tweezers, curlers. Here we have our cream face products. So these are cream bronzers, cream blushes, and cream highlights. And then we have 
foundations and concealers. This is primers, powders that are bronzers, highlights, blushes, other powders, face powders, and lip stuff, which I know I have a lot more of, so I need to find it. <laughs> and then this side, we have the removers, clips and headbands. I have liners, brows, mascaras, lashes, single pot. And then these two are free. So that's great. I did it for the most part. We had a little incident this morning and I kind of split my face. <laughs> look that bad it's kind of gnarly well probably for some watching this you've gone through some way worse injuries or just like sorry i'm mixing my mom yeah i've wanted to go to the farmer's market all week and i'm not letting this cut stop me i'm going <laughs> just need a good hat to Protect it from the sun. So black. I mean, now my outfit looks so weird. Okay, I'm wearing this hat. Going with this. We're on our way. He only has the choke collar when we go out to stuff like this or on our walk, so he doesn't pull me, but don't worry. It's also not pointed, the ends. They're like square, so I don't want him to attack anyone. It's, it's stressful having a German Shepherd mix because you never know what they're gonna do. <laughs> it's a beautiful day, my eyes killing me but it actually looks kind of good i've iced it for about two hours and we're going to the farmer's market i'm so excited i love the farmer's market i just want to get a bunch of fresh fruit and bread eggs all that stuff i brought a massive tote so i can fit it all and i'm getting my nails done later I'm in desperate need i'm gonna show you guys what i got at the market and I'm so sorry, I forgot to film. It kind of really hurts. Don't fear for me. I know you're very concerned. Sourdough bread. I'm the most excited about this. It was from this little Italian stand. And it had basil pesto. It had this gluten-free focaccia bread. I got this gluten-free fettuccine. You're supposed to keep this in the freezer, she said. But I think she meant the fridge. I got fresh burrata, fresh prosciutto. And I love prosciutto and burrata together. Pretty great. So I'm gonna put this away. I got eggs. Can somebody tell me if the person scammed me, they charged me $14 for eggs. And the person, I bumped into like this man there and he was like, you came for these eggs too? I was like, no. I just kind of walked up, but apparently they're really good. I think he told me that they treat the chickens really nicely at this place, which is why he likes them. So I guess that's worth the money. Although it's like you are taking their eggs. So like how nice are you really being, you know? We have so many peaches and nectarines. So I got a bunch. I got some white nectarines. I got some peaches. Got yellow nectarines. This is like, honestly, one of my favorite things to get at the market. I think it's dress. They're always really good. I asked this really adorable lady selling tomatoes what the best would be for a fresh pasta sauce. And she said these aroma tomatoes. I'm gonna make a fresh pasta, a like marinara sauce, and I'm gonna do turkey ground turkey in it and make like a fresh turkey bolognese and that's gonna be great hey I'll call you back it wasn't Milo though 
No, I hit my head on the counter taking the trash out. Okay, well next time, tell me it's not my love. Bella, he's not a menace. Well, I don't know. No. I got some hummus, plain hummus, some fresh pita bread. I love, well, I love pita bread and hummus, but I love these to cut them open and stuff them and make little sandwiches. I think it's just, mmm, so good. I make avocado toast religiously. Last but not least, fresh berries. Oh, actually that's not last. I'll show you what's last, one sec. I just heated this up and to be completely honest, I just ate a full breakfast. I had overnight oats. But it looks really good so we'll try a bite together. I put it in my toaster oven and I made it all warm. That might be the best thing I've ever had. That is so good. Wow. I'm making a healthy turkey bolognese for dinner with a bunch of the stuff that I got from the market and I'm really excited. Cutting some stuff at the moment. I'm gonna use those Roma tomatoes. I think we have like six or seven minutes before the pasta's done. My eye kind of hurts, but it's fine. Good morning everyone, it's a new day. It's what my eye looks like. I'm gonna make a coffee right now. Very much looking forward to my coffee. I'm gonna put some more ice on my face as well. I'm so excited today, I think I'm gonna get my gym organized and sorted.